Hello guys, uh, uh, now we try to solve the accounts merge problem. Uh, let's see the problem statement first. Given a list of accounts, each element accounts i is a list of strings, where the first element accounts i zero is a name, and the rest of the elements are emails, uh, representing emails of the, the account. Now we would like to merge these accounts. Two accounts definitely belong to the same person. If there is some email that is common to both accounts, not that even if two accounts have the same name, they may belong to different people as people could have the same name. A person can have any number of accounts initially, but all of their accounts definitely have the same name. Uh, after merging the accounts, return the accounts in the following format. The first elements of each account is the name, and the rest of the elements are emails in sorted order. The accounts themselves can be returned in any order. Okay, let's see the example. We are given accounts to join, join smithmail.com, join the, the, the. Uh, this is another join, but the emails are not the same, so they belong to a different uh, person. Uh, and this join has it has the same account with the first uh, join, so they they belong to the same person. So these uh, three accounts uh, belong to the same join, and uh, uh, the last one is a uh, different person. So how to do this? Uh, it's obvious that that this is a, a graph problem. So we first need to build the graph. Mm. Uh, we will let uh, each email be the be the node and the uh, yes the email be the node and if uh, they are belong to the same person we uh, let them connected uh, and we also need an email to name mm, uh, key value map because um <clears throat> because when we uh to find the, the emails belong to the same person we need their name so we should save every email to their uh name on the name so uh, our uh, my solution uh contains the following parts first build the graph and then um, for the uh, email to name key sets, uh, each key we will do the DFS to find the uh, emails connected with it, and that will be one uh, one account. And then I will sort this list and add the name, and finally we get our answer. So we need uh, two other uh, function, which is build graph. Now we will fill the parameters afterwards. And I need another another function which is uh, DFS. Now we will fill the parameters afterwards. Okay, let's do it. Uh, in this uh, in this problem, I will use hash map to uh, to represent this graph. Actually, this is a linked list a uh, agency list representation string. And uh, the stat string will be graph hash map. And uh, as I said, I also need a, a mail and a name uh, map. It will be e email to name new hash map. Now okay, here I will do the build graph. Let's think about how what parameter do I need? The definitely need the um, hash map. This is a graph. I also need a the email to email to name. I also need accounts accounts. Okay. For uh, each account list a account uh, sorry, typo uh, we, we get the name right name is the first uh, string and then for the uh, 
email list for int i equal to one i less than a dot size i plus plus. This is the mail will be a get i. And we will put that into the email. Email to name map put mail name. And if i equal to one, we just continue. If not, we should ah uh, yeah, I forget to uh, put if absent the mail new hash set. Okay, if it's uh, i equal to one, which means it's the first mailbox, we just mailbox we just continue. If it's the second, we should uh, connect the first and the second, uh, so on so forth. So uh, we'll get uh, first write uh, pref equal to a get i minus one, and uh, g get pref. We can add them together. Um, add mail and the g get mail add the brief okay so now we have built this uh, graph let's see how to uh, let's uh, fill these parameters this is g and this is email to name and we also have the accounts okay so we need a result list right this is the result new array this we also need a hash set as uh, the common graph province because we want do not want to visit the same nodes uh, many times. So the visited new hash set. And okay, we will do this for uh, because we have the email to name map, so we now have all the emails. Uh, uh, appeared in this account, so the mail should be the email to name dot key set, right? Okay. We need a temporary list. Dream. Uh, uh, just a name list and array list. We will first uh if. Uh, Uh, yeah, yeah. We can add here if uh, visited add mail equal to true. We do the things. Why? Because if uh, uh, the hash set add or element is true, so which means the hash set haven't uh, uh doesn't have this element. So we can add it if it already has this element. The visited add mail will return false. So if it, uh, we haven't visited this mail uh, yet, so we add that into our list. Uh, sorry, it's mail. And then we do the DFS things. Okay, let's see what's the parameter we need. First, we need the graph. We also need the temporary list. We also need a current mail box. Uh, we also need a visited hash set. Okay, let's fill this DFS function. The same um it's the same if uh oh no, no. because we already added the mail, right? So um we we can do that for if G get the mail equal to null or g get mail dot size equal to null we simply return if not the case we will do df for its neighbors for string neighbor g get the mail the same if visited add the neighbor is true uh, we will add that 
into our result and do the DFS six, which will be uh, which will be G list uh, neighbor and the visited. Okay, so we uh, will fill the parameter that should be G list and uh, the mail and also the visited. And then we should uh, sort that connections sort the list and also do not forget to add the name so the list we should add in the very beginning at zero the uh, mail email to name get the mail and then afterwards we add that into the result list Finally, return the result. Let's see it. Uh, map is the G. Yeah, it is email to the, 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 the account. Huh? Sorry. Uh, this is G email to name, and this is accounts. Result related. Key set if uh, add. The, the, the. Hmm. Seems right. Yes, yeah, it seems right. Okay, uh, it works. Thank you for watching. Happy coding.